Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project, Student Help Desk. And I have developed this project in ASP.NET using C Sharp and the MySQL. The version for the MySQL I'm using is 5.6, and I'm using Visual Studio 2019 for running this project. Also, for connecting ASP C Sharp with MySQL, I'm using the MySQL connector, which you will get easily from the MySQL.org website for connecting the database. Right. So this is a web-based application. So for front-end development, I have used HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used, like for form validations, for direct calendar plugin integrations, for creating drop-down menus. You can see this is a drop-down menus. I have used uh, jQuery plugins, right? So these all technology stacks I have used for developing this project. So, e so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have uh, developed inside it so the more the main concept of uh, developing this project is to helping to provide a platform to the student to resolving to uh, raising their query to the school department right so this is the home page of the project you can see this is a home page and all things are static here this is about the project and this is also static information this is a department so you can see these are the departments right and if you want click on the department then you will be able to see the category names right if you want to book the appointment for any of the category just click on that department and book appointment for that but you will not be able to book the appointment if you don't have the user id and password so for uh, registering so for getting the user id and password you can create your user and password using the use student registration here you can register yourself and after that you will be able to uh, log inside the system and raise your own queries and submit uh, create your own bookings appointments so there are three types of rules available in the system the student login is here the admin login is here and the advisor login is here advisor is the user role who uh, can check the student appointments and who can resolve the student queries right so i am going through one by one so let me go through student login so the student id user id and password is student and password is test once you log in inside the system you will get this right now you can see this is the raise request once you click on the raise request you can book the appointment and the appointment title need help on this topic like appointment date 12 giant description i need some help on it at once you click on the book appointment you will be able to see all of your booking histories means all of the uh, all of your appointment booking histories if you click on the view you will be able to see the details of that booking right if you want to delete or cancel that uh appointment you can just click on the delete and that appointment will be deleted from the database right here you can change your own password right after changing your password you will be able to log in with your updated password so this is the session driven menu if you log out from the system then above menu will not be displayed it's renting according to the user login right so student menu will be different admin will will be different and advisor menu will be different so this is logout now i am going to log in as an advisor so advisor login is advisor and password is test once you log in then you can see my request now the concept is advisor will be able to see his request only his request means on which department he belongs to right so you can see uh, advertiser is able to see the status service and the registrar service uh, appointment because he belongs to that category right and he will be able to see the details of the appointments you can see this is the details of the appointment change password is as I mean, functionality same as the previous one and the logout now i am going to log in as an admin so once you log in as an admin the password is test once you log inside the system you will get a lot of menu option here right so here you can add the department department title descriptions add category the category so here you can add the category so this drop down is containing all of the departments advisor so you can see that you are able to see the advisor category title contact method and the description you can 
input this information and you can save the submit the form after submitting the form these details will be saved into the mysql database right this is the add advisor from here you will be able to add the advisor you can set the user id and password and after that advisor will be able to log in with that credentials right so this is the ad form this is a report all department report will be displayed here you can edit and delete from the record from the database from here right this is a category report all of the category reports are displaying here right this is the advisor report all of the advisor report will be displayed and you can edit and update it right this is all appointment report admin will be able to see all of the appointments so he can see all of the appointments and he can view and delete it also change password is the same functionality right as i uh, described you earlier and the logout right once you log out then you will be uh, you will not be able to access the administrative pages right so this all functionalities i have developed inside this project student help deck system and as i told you earlier this is a three level user role based system developed in esp c sharp and mysql and i am using visual studio 2019 for running this project if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest classes thanks for watching the video thank you very much